Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very long awaited video I guess just because I've had this product for about a month now and I should have reviewed it as soon as I got it. The last month was a little crazy so I'm reviewing it now and I'm just going to be going over the Anastasia collaboration with Nicole Guerrero. This is the glow kit that they created and it is vegan and it's $40 at Sephora. It is sold out to my knowledge. This product is really trending and I just want to go over my thoughts with you guys on the palette just because it is so gorgeous and I just wanted to do some swatches and my overall thoughts on the formulation and everything for you guys just so you guys kind of know is it really worth the hype basically. So if you guys want to know is this product worth the hype, let's continue into the video. is the packaging. I really really love the packaging. The packaging is totally my vibes. I say it every time but blushy pastel pink is one of my favorite colors. It's the color of my bathroom. I really love the holographic font that they did for the name. It's just gorgeous and the back just kind of has all the details including that it's vegan and cruelty free. So I think that's amazing and it is only $40 at Sephora. I don't know how long they're going to be selling this for. I believe it is limited edition. Don't quote me on that. I'm not quite positive, but I'm just going to go over the formulation on these. The formulation on this glow kit specifically is just amazing. It is creamy. It is very pigmented. It's not glittery or chunky. It's, I mean, it looks that way when you're looking at it, but it's not. Um, when you swatch it, it looks like that. I'm just going to go ahead and do some swatches for you guys real quick with the finger and then I'm going to do some swatches on my face. So the first one we're going to dip into is Kitty Cat and it's just this nice gorgeous pink right here. So that is the swatch on my finger. That's just one swipe. It's like I said very pigmented. It is creamy and it's gorgeous and I'm just going to swatch that down my arm so that you can see. And I really love this shade a lot. The next one I really love is Forever Young and this one is kind of a, um, it kind of has like a lavender tone in it. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like lavender, golden, and pink all like mashed together in my opinion. So that's just kind of like my thought process when I'm looking at this color. And this one right here is Forever Young. So I'm just going to put that next to Kitty Cat. And that's the second one right here. Next one is Daydream and this one is kind of a orangish, orange soup sorbet color type when I'm looking at it and that's just the swatch right there for you guys and I'm going to put that right under Forever Young. I haven't personally used this shade yet although it is very gorgeous so that is the swatch for you on that one. Let's go to the next one. The next one next week. The next one is Forever Lit and it is this white highlighter right here. I love using this. I like layering it onto another shade from this palette just to kind of layer it up and make it more intense because I'm an intense kind of highlighter gale. That is the swatch for Forever Lit right there. It's a very intense sort of white. And then the next one that I love a lot is this kind of pale golden shade right here and this is Glow Gitter. So I'm just going to swatch that and that's Glow Gitter right there. And then I'm going to put that under Forever Lit. I can't you guys, these shades are so gorgeous. And the next one is 143. This one I still haven't used but I think it's a little bit darker than Glow Gitter. And that's 143 right there. That is the swatch right here for you guys. And then I'm just going to put that under everything. So that's just the shades from the Glow Kit. They're very gorgeous and I love them so much. I'm seriously obsessed and go over Forever Young. It's just like now that I'm looking at it, the Kitty Cat is a pink. I guess you can kind of label Forever Young as like a pale pink. It's very gorgeous and I love using that shade a lot. And the gold, oh, they're all just so gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and swatch some for you guys on my face so you guys can kind of get the gist of it. I'm just going to be using my tapered highlighting brush to apply these to the face just so you guys can get the full effect. But if you're wanting it to be more of a subtle highlight, you can go ahead and use a fan brush and that will give you a more subtle effect when you're applying your highlighter. But I want to go more intense and show you guys what really these highlighters can do from this palette. And I have not tried the other palettes, but I've been wanting to really really try them so bad. I really wanted Moonchild and they have, they just came out with Aurora too. So that's like a part two of the Moonchild. 
you guys. I really want those palettes so bad. I want to get the whole collection, the whole permanent collection, and I'm glad that I was able to get the limited edition of this one. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. So I want to go ahead and show you guys what Forever Young, what I'm now calling this pale pink, this pale pink for you guys. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like on the face so you guys can just kind of get an idea. So I'm just going to go ahead, swatch that right there. Oh yes. And put a little up here. You guys can see that's just putting it on with one little dab into the product and wiping it on my face with this type of brush. You can see that it gives a very intense highlight to the face. <sighs> you guys, I can't. This is just so gorgeous. I really love that shade a lot. I really want to try this orange shade because I have not tried it yet. I want to swatch it for you guys just so you can kind of see what it looks like on the face. This is what it looks like on the brush. Pretty orange. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the other side and just see how that looks. I feel like this shade looks a, more, a little more subtle on my skin just because it's kind of, it's not as light as the other shades are. I'm going to show you guys Forever Lit right here. I'm going to layer that on to the Forever Young so you guys can see this gets intense. We're just going to layer it right, ooh, oh my god. Do you guys see that? Do you see how intense this shade is? I'm just sad that I have to take this makeup off because I have to go look at a facial after this. But do you see that? I like that Daydream is a little more subtle so it kind of blends in to my skin a little bit better. I'm just going to try and see what 143 looks like on my skin. I feel like that's a little too dark for my skin color, but we're just going to see what it looks like, you guys. I feel like it's going to... Ooh, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think this palette is like perfect for my skin tone and everything. And these colors are just gorgeous. I'm just going to add a little, a little bit to my Cupid's bow. So to answer the question, is this palette really worth the hype? I say it is. It is seriously such amazing quality. It's pigmented, it's creamy, it's everything. It's just life. Like seriously, I have been using this palette every single day since I've gotten it. So I've been using it for over a month. I haven't even touched my Champagne Pop. I haven't even touched my Jeffree Star. Oh my God, it feels weird saying that. <laughs> it feels weird saying I haven't touched my Champagne Pop. But seriously, this palette is worth the hype. So, if it ever goes back in stock on Sephora, because I just recently checked and it was not in stock, go get it. Go get it. Or if you can find some other website to go on and get it. But as long as you're not paying over $40, this palette is worth $40. So, don't go on Amazon and pay $100 for it. I can't stand people that want to rip you off for a product just because it's limited edition. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below and subscribe. I seriously appreciate all your guys' support. It means so much to me and we're getting closer to my 1K giveaway. If the award palette is in stock by the time we're closer to my giveaway, I might add that to my giveaway. So stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe so that you never miss any videos I am now posting on Sundays and Wednesdays. So you guys have an amazing day. Peace out.